battling bugs, the mosquito solution that could keep your family safe from the tropical viruses invading North Texas. Another North Texan has fallen ill with Zika. This is now the fourth person in Tarrant County to get the virus. The sample was delivered to the state regional laboratory on Thursday, and that test result came back today. The person recently traveled to Puerto Rico, we're told, and that's all the information that the health department would share with us about that patient because of privacy concerns. Symptoms are usually mild, including a fever, rash, and joint pain. So much wet weather, plus concerns about the Zika virus spreading into North Texas has mosquito treatment companies very busy right now. Mosquitoes can also carry the West Nile virus, which has already proven to be deadly in our area. NBC 5's Ken Kaltoff is live in Dallas now with more. Ken? It's not hard to find standing water where mosquitoes can breed after all of the heavy rain that we've had. But the variety of mosquitoes more likely to carry Zika if it arrives in North Texas bugs are more likely to be found closer to homes. That's one of the reasons why mosquito treatment like that offered by Safe Haven Pest Control is really popular right now. The firm uses Mosquito Steve products which claim to be natural, safer for people and pests. The guy we saw spraying that stuff today says current conditions will be very favorable for mosquitoes. So the more wet weather we have, the more breeding sites that we have. So therefore, the more development that you have, the population goes up. So absolutely warm weather plus breeding sites is going to equal more mosquitoes. Uh, anything that gives an opportunity for mosquitoes to breed around your home needs to be eliminated. Now you can't really go out and drain a field, but you can get rid of the standing water right up around your house in flower pots or bird baths that might still be around there. The county health director says you don't really have to hire professionals, but they are sure getting a whole lot of work right now. We expect a bad mosquito season this year. Reporting live in Dallas, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5. How you can have a bug-free summer. This evening we have some mosquito advice for you. Tarrant County confirmed its fourth case of the Zika virus today. Here's what we know. The patient was infected while traveling to Puerto Rico, then came back home to Tarrant County. This is the fourth imported case of Zika and the second from Puerto Rico. Others came from El Salvador and St. Martin. Now Zika is usually transmitted by mosquitoes and experts fear the virus could spread to North Texas mosquitoes this summer. That Plus, this mosquito breeding wet weather has private mosquito control companies very busy this spring. NBC 5's Ken Kaltoff is live in Dallas with more. Ken? Standing water is where mosquitoes breed the variety already known to carry West Nile virus in North Texas and the kind that could host Zika if it arrives here. But Zika mosquitoes are more likely up close to homes and that's where the private pest control people are busy. This mosquito guy isn't worried about wandering through the fog intended to knock down bugs. He uses the stuff mosquito Steve promises to be safe for people and pets. I've been doing radio interviews all over the country because people are worried about Zika virus. It's not been found in local mosquitoes yet, but just one bug biting a person who brought Zika from somewhere else could spread the disease linked to birth defects. We can't keep up with our mosquito sprays this year at all. Weather's not helping us, but uh, the demand for mosquito applications this year has skyrocketed. It's wet now, look. West Nile virus has already been found again this year in some North Texas mosquitoes, but not people. Homeowner Lori Bannon does not want bites. I'm immunosuppressed, so there's a big concern for me with West Nile or Zika, and then I have my elderly parents living here with me, so it's a big concern for them. Hire help or not, the Dallas County Health Director says get rid of standing water. You do an assessment around your home. You're talking about breeding opportunities that oftentimes cannot be identified unless you as a homeowner do an assessment. It's a step to avoid disease and pests. We want to be able to use our yard. We have this gorgeous yard and patio. Bugs no Known to carry West Nile virus fly mostly at dawn and dusk, but those that carry Zika fly around the clock, and that's why experts say bug repellent is wise at all times this year. 
Reporting live in Dallas, Ken Kalthoff, NBC5. A fourth person living in Tarrant County has now contracted the Zika virus. The patient was likely infected during a recent trip to Puerto Rico. There have been no local transmission cases, and that virus is spread to people primarily through a mosquito bite. Speaking of mosquitoes, those mosquito control companies, boy, are they busy right now this spring because of Zika and the West Nile fears. We caught up with one company using Mosquito Steve products that claim to be safe for people and pets. We can't keep up with our mosquito sprays this year at all. Weather's not helping us, but uh, the demand for mosquito applications this year has skyrocketed. Anything that gives an opportunity for mosquitoes to breed around your home needs to be eliminated. Next week, spray trucks will hit the roads in Pantego and also in the city of Arlington after mosquito samples tested positive for the West Nile virus.